This card gives me a lot to talk about. Now don't get me wrong, this card is really good. But it does have some pretty large issues. Pass on strikers is never a huge problem for me, apart from in this one specific instance. Because in game, Lautaro Martinez plays as a false nine. The way that he is programmed is to move as a false nine, and that's the role that he's been designated. But he does not have the passing needed to be a good false nine. The card is really well set up to be an advanced forward, but it doesn't move like one in game, and that is just really annoying. And for me, this is a huge downside to this card. It's one of the few downsides, but it's a massive downside. His attack positioning is fantastic. He's always in space and he's always open. Open, especially inside the box he makes great runs there but outside the box trying to break through the back line his runs aren't the best now this is a common occurrence this card but I'm going to explain it the best I can with this one clip when Vinicius Jr receives the ball in this position there are two different runs that I would like Martinez to make the first one is fairly obvious and the second one would be to have him facing me so when I pass on the ball I can use his press proven to then turn the defender. In both scenarios I want him to be moving more towards me than away. This can be done manually however in this sort of scenario I just kind of expected him to make the run I wanted and therefore did not use that and this results in a massively wasted opportunity and just so everything's out on the table from now on most of the footage will be me manually triggering player movement with Martinez. On the ball though this guy is an absolute menace. I loved his player of the month last year and I was not disappointed. He's so physically strong like more than Tevez and he's also incredibly agile as well which is just such a rare combination and he really does play up to his stats in both those categories. I played him with loads of different chemistry styles. I had a Hunter, a Hawk, Marksman and I eventually settled on a Sniper which is just such a strange one but it just made him so good in game. Inside the box he buried practically every shot on his strong foot. He's got four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. The four star skill moves were brilliant, very smooth and came off very cleanly in game. And the four star weak foot was fairly reliable. Not quite Griezmann level though. He also has Finesse Shot Plus, which is a fantastic playstyle plus to have this year. The only real problem with that on this card is Martinez has low long shots. He only has 83 long shots as a base stat, and he also has only 82 curve. So he's not going to be doing anything ridiculous with that trait. It's just nice to have a guaranteed goal from some of those more simple shooting angles. 85 pace is a little bit low, but I don't personally find it a problem with this card. Unless you're trying to do like full runs through, then you will get caught. The press proven can sometimes help with that, but like top tier defenders like Van Dyke, Bremer, Saliba will catch you and they will tackle you with not too much difficulty. Because of his high aggression, he does sometimes win the ball back after those tackles and that can lead to some goals too, which is always nice. But the question I'm sure that you really want answering is, is this card worth nearly 700,000 coins? And I just don't think so. And my justification that he's not quite worth it is that total rush Griezmann is only 100,000 coins more, yet has no problems that I've brought up in this video. And that's not even mentioning the fact that Martinez does have a team of the week that's 100,000 coins. So it's a sixth of the price and it's only missing about 30 in games and it doesn't have press proven. It also doesn't have target forward plus, but I don't think I've actually seen anyone using target forward this year, so I don't think that's really a big problem anyway. So because with this series we take into account everything, the links, the price and the ability, I'm going to have to give this card 4.5 out of 10. Realistically, you're only going to want to pay up to a maximum of 300,000 coins for this card. And although he is very good in game and very linkable being from Argentina and playing in the Serie A, I don't think that hefty price tag is justifiable. If you are really wanting to try him out, I'd at least go with the Inform first. Unless you've already used Inform and really like him and you think the upgrade's worth it, then fair enough, you do you. And if you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out and it helps me to make more videos. Please let me know in the comments if you tried his Ballon d'Or card. I really wanted to, but he was not an option in my player pick. And until next time, goodbye.